real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I forgot to take. I forgot to taste it in front of y'all. Let me get it. Let me taste a little bit. I forgot to taste it. What's up, guys? So yeah, I'm getting ready to cook my um, food. I'm gonna be making me some um, snapper fillets, some red snapper fillets that I got from Whole Foods, and uh, some purple cabbage, some steamed purple cabbage. That's gonna be my dinner for the night in this truck. Um, and I'm gonna try to take y'all with me a little bit as I prepare. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started on. So yeah, this is where my plates and stuff at, my seasoning, salt, pepper, my forks, and this, my lemon juice. That's what I'm gonna be uh, using to soak my fish in. I got my little, little frying pan right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using to cook my fish. And there's my hot plate, my oven. Y'all see my microwave, uh, my clothes, my towel. I had to put them up there. And my tackle box on the dashboard. But yeah, let me get my salt and pepper out of here. Let me put that down there. And um, yeah. I'm getting ready to go in. So yeah, it's about to happen. It's about to go down. And um, I'll be right back with y'all in a moment. Let me get everything situated here and um, we'll start the video back up. So yeah, I'm back. And uh, what's gonna happen? Let me adjust this camera. So as I was saying, I bought this snapper from Whole Foods. Y'all should be able to see it. Yeah, fresh caught red, wild caught red snapper. And yeah, excuse the mess in my truck. I've been driving all day, and had no chance to clean up. And let me tell you something, trucks don't normally be clean anyway like that. Man. How? Like, you what are you cooking? Uh, messy. So I got this yesterday. Got that yesterday from Whole Foods. Let me adjust this a little better. So I got this from Whole Foods, as y'all can see. It's red snapper fillets. And I also got some flounder. Red snapper. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna soak this in lemon juice. I feel a scale on here. Look at that. They got a freaking scale on my fish. Y'all supposed to be done did that already. But anyway, they got a couple of scales on it, but that's all right, cause I'm gonna shake this up and clean it up anyway. I don't never go without cleaning my, I always clean my fish. So, uh, yeah, I see scales on it. Whole Foods, y'all got to do better. Y'all charging all that money per pound for these fillets. And y'all not doing better. Y'all got to do much better than that. I don't want to eat no, um, yeah. So that, I'm going to let marinate for around, hmm. 10 minutes or so. Put it on this side so it can soak up all that good lemon juice, that good organic lemon juice. And I'm gonna let it do that for, there's so many scales on this doggone fish. I'm gonna do that for uh, a few minutes, uh, 10 minutes. Let me get a wipe out of my white thing though. Yeah. And then, yeah, so, after that happened, after I do that, I'm gonna come back and season it. So yeah, here we go, y'all. The light on, the light in my face, and I got my phone like this, so. Um, 
I'm gonna come back and do this. I'm gonna come back and start the video up after this thing marinate in a little bit, all right? So catch y'all on the rebound. So this is my cabbage that I'm gonna be cooking, part of it anyway, purple cabbage. But as you can see, some of the leaves on the outside, the outer leaves are not, are not good. So what you wanna do, want to take the outer leaves off I mean this truck life right here I'm in the wild I live rough everybody know that everybody know I live wild I live rough so I take this off and get my garbage bag right if you live in a truck Man, you gotta really get it how you live, man. It's real rough out here in these streets. But we gonna make this here work. So I took that one leaf off. I gotta take them off until it ain't no more nasty leaves on here. You know, get down to the pretty leaves. The beautiful leaves. You don't wanna be eating nothing. that the bugs look like they done had their way with. Like this leaf right here. So you just take that off. Now you pretty much, now you down to the, see that? You're down to the beautiful part of it. And that's what I'm gonna be cutting on right there. So I'm only gonna cut enough to, uh, to, to feed me for the night, I'll save some more for the tomorrow night or whatever. But let me get my pot out of here. Get my pot out of this little cup. You ain't gonna be able to see it now. It's in here. So there it is, I got my, let me see my shoe down there. I got my spatula and my spoon. So you need to be prepared when you come out here. I got my stove. Sit that over there. Sit my spoon and my spatula down. And, uh, yeah, I got my knife. And it's sharp too, it's big. So uh, I gotta see how much I wanna eat tonight. So I'm gonna just say I'm gonna cut like a, I guess I'm gonna cut a third of it off. I don't wanna see nothing on there, like no kind of See that? I don't want that on there. I can't do nothing with that. I can't eat that. But what I'll do is I'll just take that little part there off. Just a little piece, it ain't much. But I'm, since I cut that over there, put that in the pot. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut that, this section right here. And this will be enough for me for the night. That'll be more than enough. Should be. Like a third. And I'll take my pot. My pot I already clean because I always clean my stuff after I use it. I don't never let it sit out overnight and all that crap. I cleans it and then I puts it up. That's what you're supposed to do. Clean up after you especially cooking. You don't want flies and gnats and all that. I definitely don't. And then I just start cutting this up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna gauge and see if I need to put some more in here for myself. Shoot, I'm hungry. I ain't ate all day. I ate fruit. Like, I ate an apple. I ate um, I ate some grapes and uh, uh, tangerine. A couple of tangerines, but that was it. And that don't even do nothing. Trust me, them things don't do anything. So this a lot right here. This a lot, but. I'm only eating fish and this. I'm not eating no 
nothing like no um and it'll cook down some cabbage will cook down i'm not eating anything like uh rice or bread or nothing like that so just this just the just the fish and cabbage and that's gonna be good that's that that's the best cabbage the healthiest cabbage for you is purple cabbage it's really red cabbage like red acre cabbage but um it's purple cabbage and it's the best for you it's the most nutritious cabbage for you so that's that i'm gonna fill that with some water and i'm gonna cook it not long you don't want to cook it for over 10 minutes once it get to boiling don't even cook it for 10. So y'all see this right here, this snapper, the nyap, this nyap nyap. That's what that is, that nyapper. Let me put this back in the bag for tomorrow. I got some broccoli and string beans in there, but this cabbage where it's at, y'all. So now I got this nyap. So what I'm gonna do for it to cook evenly on both sides, I'm just gonna this knife is real sharp. I don't want to cut through and cut my pan. I'm going to put a few slices in it, in the meat, like that. Yeah. Just like that. A couple of two, three slices. Not much. Just, just so it'll cook through and through. And it ain't going to take long to cook it. Anyway, that meat just is tender and oh my goodness, look at that. And I cut the filet in half because I wanted to fit in the pan the right way. And this Joker here, he can't even clean snapper. He left he left pin bones in here. He left pin bones right here. Man. Whole foods, y'all got to get it together. Y'all charge too much money for this fish for it not to be right. For me to have to do this. Look at that. Look at that. That's a big bone. That's a big bone. Look at that. Another one. And I don't want to get rid of my meat right here. I've already got my mouth set for that meat right there. So I'm just going to pull them out with my hand. They easily coming out. Uh, by hand, so yeah, big bone. You swallow that, you're gonna have a bad day. A real bad day. Now, this side uh, here is, is good. That lemon juice gonna be sopped all up in there. Y'all know that lemon juice gonna be sopped up in there like that. Y'all know that. Ooh, ooh, I can't wait to throw that thing on there. When that dog on grease, it ain't gonna take long either. It ain't gonna take long. Take you fish don't take them about five or ten minutes to cook. Y'all know that. And, and I'm gonna have at it. Look at the. He ain't even scale it good. Look at the scales. So. When y'all go to Whole Food, y'all make sure if y'all get some fish, which I normally catch my own fish. By the way, I'm a fisherman. That trucking fisherman. That's, I'm a fisherman. So I catch normally catch my own. But I'm out here on the road. In these random states, I just can't go and catch my own. So I have to improvise. And sometimes improvising meaning I have to buy means I have to buy my own food, my own fish. I have to buy fish. Now, I don't like doing that, but hey, I don't eat all kind of crazy meat. So, yeah, I have to, uh, yeah, fish. Me and fish is friends, okay? Me and fish, these doggone bones. But me and fish is friends, so they finna get a few more minutes of soaking and then after that, they going in the grease. 
okay and the olive oil uh, organic olive oil which let me get that out right now let me get that out of him hopefully nothing don't fall out and hit me in the face oh. Bertoli don't get mad at me for but you know I have to use you organic yeah so let me see if I can aim this back down so that's what's going to happen with that the olive oil going to go on there I'm going to pull that out the, um, pull the lemon juice off of it and put my olive oil on there but let me get my um, water right now my my water, I got my bottled jug water, gallon waters. I'm finna get one of those for my cabbage right now. Be right back. So yeah, here go my cabbage water. Let me turn on the light over here. And that's gonna go in there. I know I sound fat, but hey, it is what it is. So I know y'all ain't think I was going to make this cabbage without rinsing it. Y'all y'all thought that? I don't care how pretty it looks. It's got to get a rinse. I'm going to drop one. It's got to get a rinse, y'all. Y'all know that. So while that's marinating a little longer, let me turn this meat back over here. And that lemon juice sop up in the Sop it up in there, let me do. Get in there. Get you. Now I'm going to pull this out. Just pull it out right here. I mean, ain't nothing else I can do. I'm in a truck stop. All right? So, this is what I do. I go to the, I go to the window. Right? So, Go out the window. I'm at a truck stop, so it ain't really nothing you can do. You you only limited to so much stuff you can do. And I just pour it out. Pour it out. It's just water. It ain't like I'm pouring pee or nothing out there. Like I see a lot of these cats do. And uh, yeah, I done been guilty of it too because I live in the wild. I live rough. That's how we live out here. We live in the wild up out here. So, yeah. Anyway, this is how it's going. So now, I'm finna put my water back in there. Hmm? Put the water back in it. And it's gonna cook down. It's gonna cook down. And y'all give me one, just one second. Let me get ready to apply the seasonings to it, all right? One moment. Okay, guys, so I'm about to turn on my stove and season this food. That noise, that beep you just heard was me getting ready to turn up, turning the power on for back here. So, turn on my stove, put this over there, and let my burner heat up for my fish. Now I'm getting ready to season. I done got me another plate. I'm gonna lay my fish out on it. It done marinated, and one thing about lemon juice or lime juice, if you leave it on there long enough, it will like cook your fish for you. You won't. You have. You end up with ceviche. So you don't want to leave it on there super duper long, but just long enough. And that's long enough. I don't left it on long enough. It's, it's plenty of plenty soaked in with lemon juice. 
So what I'm gonna do, and I ain't putting no flour or meal or none of that on that straight fish. Straight up snapper, that's all it is. Straight up snapper. So, I just sprinkle me some, some pink Himalayan salt on them, like so. And I won't, I won't salt the other side. That's enough salt right there for what I need. And then I, some organic black pepper. Y'all notice y'all hear me say organic a lot, right? And you can see it. BPA free and all of that. Uh, GMO stuff, I don't play that GMO crap. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to wash this pot out and I'll be right back with you. So as y'all can see, the burner good and hot. It's ready for fish right now. I'm going to set my pan on there. And I'm going to wait till the water evaporate out of it. And normally what I do, I would kind of pat my fish a little bit to dry some of the lemon juice off of it. But no, that ain't finna happen right now. It's about to go down. I just wanna let that, I'ma let that seasoning soak in over here. Here go my bed. I got me some bananas over there. And stuff that normally sits up there is over there because I'm cooking. And you have to know how to be versatile in these trucks. You gotta know how to move around, move stuff around randomly at any time. Because uh, especially when you got a lot of stuff like I got in here, I got a cooler when I catch fish and all of that, store all the stuff in, but I got all kind of stuff in here. So you have to be versatile and be able to move things around. So what I'm gonna do while this sit here and marinate, let that seasoning soak up in there. I done dried the pan off. I'm gonna put my cabbage on and let that go on in. Get, get to a boil. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. And then uh, while that's cooling, I'm gonna cook my fish afterwards. That's how you do that. So you gotta, it's, it's always something you gotta know how to do up in here. So I'm putting, putting a little salt in there. It may look like I'm putting a lot, but you can see I ain't even put a lot because there's a little bit in here, but there's still plenty How in the thing. So it's, I know if I don't put none in here, it's not going to taste too much like I want it to taste. Besides, it's, it's good anyway for you. I don't, I don't take too much salt anyway. Blood pressure and stuff like that. You know, blood pressure issues a little bit, but um, yeah. That's gone. That's gone down the drain now. So here go my pepper. That's a little dash of that. And uh, I get back with y'all in a minute. So now y'all can see that the cabbage is boiling. It came to a boil. The water purple. Man. So I want to get it all down in there. I ain't got I ain't got the lid to cover it up with and I ain't finna cover it up with no little plate or nothing. I'm just gonna cook it like this right here. Make sure it all get cooked. And like I said, you don't wanna leave it in there for no long time, not no 10, 20 minutes, nothing like that. This ain't no soul food cooking all of that. Cooking all the nutrients out the cabbage. You wanna Get it in there a decent time, five minutes, seven, eight minutes at the most. Get it nice and steamed up. That's what you want. You want them nutrients still to be in it when you start eating it. I don't like mine too soft and mushy like for hours and all that. You don't need all of that. We don't need all that loud. You don't need all that. And the reason I ain't got on both burners because it draws more power. And I don't wanna draw, you know, too much power. I got all the lights on up in here, so. But yeah, 
that's boiling. So while that's boiling, that's still marinating. So yeah, when that finished, boom, that's going in the pan. That's going in here with some olive oil and that's only gonna take five minutes at the most to cook. And then it's gonna be, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product after I put this fish on, but I'll get back with y'all in a moment. So as y'all can see now, I got my, my pan on the stove. I'm gonna add my little olive oil. And I know it's gonna get uh, just not much, enough to cover the bottom of the pan because it's gonna go everywhere anyway. Uh, once I start cooking, it's gonna really get my battery charged out of the way. <clears throat> but uh, it's gonna go all over the place. This, when this fish get in there, then that's fine. <laughs> but I'm about to get ready to lay this in there. Let the oil get a little bit hotter. Olive oil don't take long to get hot, by the way. It get hot rather quickly, and that stove turned up too. So I'm going to lay it in there before it get to really popping all over the place. Yeah, we're already there. One, lay the other one. Slide over, slide on over now. Oh man, it's already smelling, y'all. And I got a plate up under here. So this plate going in the garbage. And uh, yeah. I'm about to put the what's happening on that. That should be done within like five, five minutes. You know, I cook it. I may cook it six or seven minutes because I like my food nice and done. I don't need no nothing playing around, no uncooked food. I don't play that. So, yeah, I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Let that cook. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what it looks like at the end. So... Y'all chill out. Be right back with you in a minute. Yeah. And as y'all can see, that's already looking good. It's already looking scrum dilly umptious right there. Scrum dilly umptious is what that's looking like to me. So I got my cabbages over there sitting. I didn't even cook them. I don't think I cooked them five minutes. But just the hot water alone still cooking them so they're gonna be perfect by the time they, by the time this fish get done. And uh, fish won't be long, so. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get back with y'all when it's finished and ready to go on the plate. So that's that, y'all. And I'm taking this out the grease. That's the other side of it. Gonna put this on the plate, and uh, put this on the plate real quick. Put it on this one too. Get some cabbage on. put too much juice on here. Then I'm gonna say my grace and bless my food. I'm gonna have dinner. Oh yeah. Y'all see that right there? I'm living wild so don't tell me how to fix food. I 
got to fix it how I live. I ain't got all the utensils everybody else got. But I tell you what, this gonna taste pretty good. This gonna taste pretty good. I'm picking a lot, I'm putting a lot of cabbage on here. I'm hungry, that's why. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> there go the plate. That's the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a fork out of here. This truck life, this how you live in the truck. Here go my fork. Let me taste a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste a little bit of this in a minute. I got to bless my food. So, <clears throat> this is how it is, life on the truck. You know, it's life on the truck right here. Finished product. I'll put everything up in a minute. Um, So yeah, guys, y'all see me do it. That was, it took like, mm, cook time took less than 10 minutes. Uh, seasoning and all of that, marinating the lemon juice and all of that, it might've took a total of uh, 30 minutes or whatever. But hey, you in the truck. You know what I'm saying? Here go my bed, here go my pillow. You know what I'm saying? So everything, it, it, you just have to adapt and do whatever it is you do. Now I'm getting ready to go and polish this food off. So, um, yeah. Let me go in and bless me. Let me bless it. Let me put my hands up to the most high. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Bless it to the nourishment of my body. Find any worshiping of other gods or idols over this food in your shy's holy name. Amen. And with that being said, with that being said, I'm out. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I forgot to take. I forgot to taste it in front of y'all. Let me get it. Let me taste it a little bit. I forgot to taste it. I already done. Y'all know how this gonna taste. So, yeah. Let's see how it tastes, y'all. Let me taste a little bite of it right in front of y'all. Mm, got lemon though. Mm -hmm. That's it, y'all. That's it. I'm finna go in. I ain't got no more to say. Subscribe, like, share, subscribe. You know, do all of that. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in that video. I've been blessed a lot, but I took the most out. No EV bomb, it's gone, not a fit to die. I salute all my con, all my people who had died. And then spit to a bizarre, cut a sticky piece of vibe. Cause you've been another song. If I ever go away, I'll be alright. I'll be just fine. Black Lives Matter, you keep killing my own, but Black Lives Matter. I'm gonna hit up by taking Black Lives Crackers. I just stay with the man, but take a Black Lives Crackers. Probably gonna get killed for a Black man hit it. Get it as a police with a Black man, you feel it. All this proper justice kill a Black man, you kill it. If you don't do nothing for the Black man, hear it. All the pain I kept aside, you can see it in my eyes when the sun up in the sky and the clock where I can fight. And I've been blessed a lot, so I take the most out. And I know you be behind me, so I'm not a fit to die. I salute all my kind, all my people who had died. And so we reside, got a sick if you survive, cause we run out of sun. If I ever go away, I'll be alright. I'll be good. I'll be alright. 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 I'll be al